so glad that you're all here to join us for our Christmas program today. I have to practice what I preach, and I told the kids to slow down and take a deep breath. So sometimes we all just talk a little too fast. <laughs> um, so this morning, we are honored to be doing a retelling of the Christmas story. It's a children's book called Birth of the Chosen One, and it's retold by Terry Wildman and illustrated by Ramon Romero. Um, and they are First Nations people. Um, I believe that Terry is Ojibwe. Um, and so it's a really, really cool retelling of the Christmas story. Um, you'll see in your handout that hopefully everybody got that there's a directory of new names. So Mary will be bitter tears. We've got Joseph, he gives sons. So it's a very familiar story. I hope you'll be able to keep track of it. But there are different ways of saying it. So I hope that you'll enjoy. Um, and I just wanted to say and acknowledge that we here at Grace Lutheran Church is on Ohlone land. And so to, to thank the Ohlone people for the gift of this beautiful land. Um, and so we're just so honored to do this story. And I'll have this book in the back if anybody wants to check it out. Um, but we're excited to retell the story. And this is a sing-along, so we hope that you'll sing with us. And there'll be cookie and cocoa afterwards. So, are we ready? Thumbs up. Okay, let's do it. When everything is to come full circle, he has spoken to all people through his Son, the one he has chosen to give all things to. It is through his Son that the one above us all made the world that is, the world that was, and the, and the one that is coming. He is the light that shines from the great Spirit's face and represents him in every way. It is his powerful word that holds the stars above the earth below and all things seen and unseen in their place. Listen to the words of holy ones of old as they spoke of a time when the maker of life would send his chosen one to restore all things. A small one has been born for us. A son has been given to us. The guidance of all people will come to be on his shoulders. He will be called wisest of elders, great and powerful spirit, grandfather from the place beyond time, grand chief of peace. His guidance of peace and harmony will reach farther than the eye can see and will last longer than the end of all days. 
The one above us all will give us a sign. A young woman will be with child and give birth to a son. His name will be known as Creator is with us. Bethlehem, O house of bread, also called fruitful place. Even though you are small among the clans of the promised land, from you the great spirit will send one who will be chieftain of the tribes of wrestles with Creator, the one who comes from long ago from the ancient days. This is the story of the birth of the Chosen One, retold from the sacred book, the greatest story of all. It began over 2,000 years ago in the land of tribes of wrestles with Creator. a small, out-of-the-way village in the hill country called Nazareth. There he appeared to a young woman named Bitter Tears, who was promised in a marriage to a man named He Gives Sons, a descendant of the great chief, much loved one. Creator's Mighty One said to her, Greetings, highly favored one. You are close to the great spirit and greatly honored among women. Bitter Tears was deeply troubled by this greeting and wondered what the spirit messenger would say. Don't be afraid, he said for you have found goodwill in the eyes of the great mystery. You will be with child and give birth to a son. You will call him Creator Sets Free. It seemed like time stood still and all creation paused to listen as the messenger continued to speak. He shall be greatly honored one, the son of the one above us all. He will be grand chief like his ancestor, much loved one, and will sit in his place of honor. He will be chief over the tribes of wrestles with creators his chiefly guidance will never end. Better Tears' voice trembled with emotion, and her eyes grew wide as she looked into the face of the spirit messenger. She asked, how will this be since I don't know this man? Creator's Mighty One replied, the Holy Spirit will spread his wings over you, and his great power from above will overshadow you. This holy child born to you will be the son of the one above us all. To encourage her, he said, your cousin, Creator is my promise who was called a barren one, is six moons with child. There is nothing too hard for the great spirit. She looked brave. She looked into the face of the messenger with a small tear in her eye and bravely declared, I am creator's servant. Let it be for me just as you have said. Then creator's chief spirit messenger left her. Bitter Tears quickly put together a traveling bundle and went to visit her cousin in a nearby village. When she entered the home of her relatives, she greeted her cousin, Creator is my promise. When she heard Bitter Tears greeting, she felt her child jump inside her. She was filled with the Holy Spirit, and with a loud cry, she lifted her voice and spoke those blessing words to Bitter Tears. The Most Holy One has honored you more than any other woman. The child you carry inside you will bring blessing ways to all people. Why is Creator being so kind to me, sending the mother of the great chief to visit my home? As soon as I heard your greeting, my baby jumped for joy inside me. You have been chosen by the maker of life for a great honor because you believed his words to you. Bitter tears was full of gladness and her words flowed out like a song. From deep in my heart, I danced with joy to honor the great spirit. Even I am, though I am small and weak, he noticed me. 
Now I will be looked up to by all. The Mighty One has lifted me up. His name is sacred. He is the Great and Holy One. Her face seemed to shine as she continued. He shows kindness and mercy to both children and elders who respect him. His strong arm has brought low the ones who think they are better than others. He counts coup with arrogant warrior chiefs, but puts a headdress of honor on those with a, of a humble heart. She smiled, looked up to the sky, and shouted for joy. He prepares a great feast for those who are hungry, but sends the fat ones home with empty bellies. He remembers the promises he had made to the tribes of wrestles with Creator and has shown kindness to the children of Father of many nations. When she finished speaking, they both laughed with joy. With hearts full of gladness, they told each other their stories. For three moons, bitter tears stayed in the home of her cousin and then returned to her own village. had returned to be with her family and to he give sons, the man she was promised to in marriage. Before they came together, he discovered that she was with child. Because he was a man of honor and did not want to disgrace her, he thought about secretly releasing her from the marriage promise. As he wondered about these things, a messenger from the great spirit appeared to him in a dream and said, he give sons, son of much loved one, do not be afraid to take bitter tears to be your wife, because the father of the child is the Holy Spirit. The dream ended with these words from the spirit messenger. She will give birth to a son. You will name him Creator Sets Free because he will set his people free from their bad hearts and wrongdoings. This fulfilled the words spoken long ago by the prophet. A young woman will be with child and give birth to a son. They call this, they call, they will call his name, Creator is with us. When he, get, when he gives sons awoke, he followed the guidance given to him in the dream and took bitter tears to be his wife. When the time drew close for bitter tears to have her child, the government of he people of iron ordered that a census should be taken. All the people were required to travel to their ancestral homelands to register. He gives sons and bitter tears set off on a long journey to Bethlehem, the village of their ancestor, much loved the grave chief. The journey took several long days and cold nights as they traveled over high hills and through dry deserts. When they arrived tired and weary, they entered the crowded village. The time for bitter tears to have her child was upon her, but no place could be found in the lodging house. So he gives sons found a stable where it was nice and warm and dry. 
There she gave birth to her son. They wrapped him in a warm soft blanket and laid him on a baby board. Then they placed him on a bed of straw and a feeding trough. nearby. Sheep birds were keeping watch over their sheep. Suddenly, a great light from above was shining all around them. A spirit messenger from the Creator appeared to them. They shook with fear and trembled as a messenger said to them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news. That will be for all nations. Today, in the village of the much loved one, a great chief has been born. He is the chosen one. The messenger continued, this is how you will know him. You will find the child wrapped in a blanket and lying in a feeding jar. Suddenly, a great number of spirit warriors appeared, giving thanks to the Creator, saying, All honor to the, to the one above us. All, and on the earth, let there be peace to all who sit under the shadow of his wings. When the spirit warrior when the spirit warrior returned to the world above, the sheep herders said to each other, Let us go and see the great thing the Creator has told to us. So they hurried to the village of Chief Much Loved One and found the child, just as they were told, lying in a feeding trough. They left with glad hearts and began to tell everyone what they had seen. All who heard their story were amazed. 
The sheep herders returned to their field, giving thanks to the Great Spirit for the wonders they had seen and heard. Bitter tears kept all the things hidden in the medicine pouch of her heart and wondered what all this would mean. birth in Bethlehem, wisdom keepers traveling on a long journey from the east came to Jerusalem. They began to ask, where is the one who has been born to be the grand chief of the tribe of Russell's with creator? We saw his star where the sun rises and have come to bow down low before him and honor him. When the bad hearted chief looks brave and ruled the promised land, heard of this, he was troubled along with all who live in Jerusalem. He called a council of all chief holy men and law teachers. He asked them, where the chosen one was to be born. In Bethlehem, the village of Chief Munch Lovborn, they replied. This is what the ancient prophecies say. But you, Bethlehem, O house of bread, and the land of the tribes of wrestles with creator, you have a good reputation. From you shall come a great chief who will guide my holy people. Then Chief Looks Brave called a secret meeting with the Wisdom Keepers to find out when the first star appeared. He then sent them to the village of Chief Much Loved One and told them, Look everywhere for the child, find him, and tell me where he is, so that I may also come and bow down low before him. When the wisdom keepers went their way, they saw the star rising in the east. With glad heart they followed, until the star stopped and rested over the place where the child was. They were welcomed into the house where they saw the child with his mother bitter tears. They bowed down low to the ground to honor the child. Then they opened their bundles and gifted him with precious gold, sweet-smelling incense, and bitter ointment of myrrh. The wisdom keepers were warned in a dream not to go back to the chief's looks brave, so they returned to their homeland by a different road. The holy child grew strong in wisdom and strength. 
The people respected him for the great spirit's power and blessing were resting on him. Great job. Um, I just wanted to thank especially Tim and Daxton and Annika for being our musicians. So let's give them a hand. And thank you to everyone who participated, especially our holy family, the Garris family. We had a sleepy baby Jesus. Thank you all for coming. And there's hot cocoa and cookies, and I have candy canes for all of you. So please enjoy. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.